Moses, take your shoes off. You are standing on holy ground. Well, this is getting really intense. Fathers, Abraham. Ha! The God of Israel? Ha 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 ha! Jehovah says, let my people go. Oh, no he didn't! No he didn't! All the waters of Egypt shall become blood. Blood? Blood, that's the plague. Blood. That's good organic material. That's good for farming. How did he do that? That's not a plague. The stinking blood water suddenly produced millions of frogs. Frogs? Frogs are food. There ain't no plague neither. That's good. I, I'd eat a frog. I totally eat a frog. God says, I will send swarms of flies upon Egypt. Your houses shall be filled with flies. Bugs? That's disgusting. I am not sitting here watching bugs. Done. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. River and I just started a fire a little bit ago. He wanted to burn his large cardboard Titanic uh, model, which was very exciting. Uh, and one of the great things about it is as soon as the fire started, all the biting bugs from the area pretty much vanished. Uh, there'd been a lot of biting flies, uh, black flies and mosquitoes out. And as soon as the smoke starts flying, those things really go away. And it's one of the great things about having a fire is that it has a huge impact on the number of, uh, oh, you're gonna put some leaves on? To make it. Yeah. Putting these sort of damp leaves on there, as you can see, adds even more smoke and it really helps to drive all the mosquitoes away. Whenever I'm doing construction or building or anything like that outside working on projects, I always like to have just a little bit of a fire smoldering somewhere and it really makes a huge impact on, on all of that. Another thing that you can do is if you kind of walk through the smoke, you can get the smoke scent on yourself. It's called smudging and that seems to make it uh, a pretty big difference in terms of their ability to find you as well. As you can see, I'm wearing a hat right now. It's not raining and it's not particularly sunny. The reason for that is that hats also are a great way of cutting down on the uh, insect's ability to bite you. Now, not, not all insects work the same way, but a lot of the deer flies, the black flies, horse flies, and things of that nature, they've got a particular love for the back area of your head. That's where they seem to like to approach from. I think I'm gonna get smudged a little bit here. Uh, they seem to like to approach from there, so if you wear a hat with a broad brim, it kind of confuses them. They can't quite figure their way around it a lot of times, and that's another thing that you can do that really seems to cut down on them. And the last thing that you can do if you want to cut down on, on the insects uh, biting you and uh, you know, you're not in a position where you have bug spray or you don't want to use bug spray, I'm not a huge fan of bug spray myself, Ooh, I might be getting smudged here, uh, is that uh, you can take mud. Uh, like just you know clay mud if you're outside uh, and smear it on your arms now I've got a coat on I'm not going to be putting <laughs> uh, mud all over myself right now because I've, I've got great armor for uh, the bugs here but if you you need to have your, your clothes off your shirt off because it's hot or whatever if you sm uh, smear a lot of mud on yourself again that seems to confuse the the scent signature maybe they just you know it's dirty and they don't want to land on you I'm not sure what it is but that seems to make a big impact as well so if in the future under any circumstances camping or collapse SHTF or whatever you find yourself out in the woods besieged by insects try lighting a fire throw a little bit of, of sort of uh, moist vegetation on it as you can see it gets smoking right away uh, that'll drive the insects off get that that smell all over your your clothes be careful not to burn yourself and uh, if you can pack, pack a broad brim hat in your in your pack because that's also a great way and it's pretty easy to find mud wherever you are so those are three different ways that you can reduce the uh, the impact and the horrors of bugs outside. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.